Hey, what's up guys? One Tech Traveler here. Now this is my first look and we're going to be doing a gear load of this rather nifty travel organizer by the team at Side by Side. And this is called the Power Packer. It comes in three different colors. You have the Bordeaux and black, the camouflage and the charcoal and gray. So let's get right down to it. Dimensions, you're looking at 26 centimeters the length ways, nine centimeters across and then four centimeters down. On the top, we have this rather nifty strap so you can hold it whilst on the go whether on its own or easily put it within your bag in terms of the detail this is made out of elastane i believe nylon and then you have uh, another type of nylon used so it's very rugged and durable and again you've got the colors to suit your preference um, but the great thing about it is that the elastane actually gives it a lot of flexibility with how much it's able to fit in there so it's rugged with the main structure but you can see it's actually flexible depending what you put inside you can see you've got a lot of great storage options you've got a lot of great freedom to either take up the whole compartment or just use several bulky items um, to occupy each strap which is great you've got these slots here which is for your memory cards and two additionals these ones actually are sewn at the bottom whereas these ones can go all the way through and then you have a zipped pockets which is actually great for all of those very mini school items and then moving on here this is really about the cables so you've got uh, four separated uh, elasticated nylon uh, straps you can either run it through the hole or have it take each and that's simply a divider so really making extra use of the capacity on this side again you can have cables running through this part but actually it opens up a bit more because it's a hole uh, elasticated strap and that gives you a lot more freedom if you want more bulkier items like a hard drive your action camera a mouse even um, so that's really nice to see and then if we go to the a second compartment which opens up actually probably 60% of the way because of the strap um, then you can see it's just one big compartment like so now I'm going to be showing you how I've put mine together to give you an idea of what it actually looks like so let's get down to it so this should give you a really good idea of how all of this can be packed in the power packer. And a feature I forgot to mention is actually these are very rugged YKK zippers and they're reversible as well. So really nice uh, looking touch because the zips are hidden. And then final part is you've got side by side embossed on the strap. For a lot of the accessories, um, I tend to carry around my memory cards and business card. I'm going to use the memory card slot. So again, I carry quite a few memory cards and I prefer to slide it in like so because they stopped right at the edge. Carry some additionals, uh, micro SD cards for my action cam, or if you have a drone, um, then again, the zipper is great place to store that. My Passport Ultra from Western Digital, I like to use the extended strap here and occupy two. So I have a Surface Book, um, so the brick is not too bad, um, but I tend to split them apart and then wrap the cord around it. So I'm gonna take the UK three pin plug and you can see it's three pronged and that's where the elasticated um, part of the power packer is great at having because when I feed it in this can comfortably poke out and not be a problem and then put this one in like so and then I finally like to use my uh, mobile charger so for my galaxy s8 plus um, then i'll compact it down and then house like so so that compartment is all great and i would put my um, microsoft arc touch bluetooth mouse uh, which goes well with the surface book color just pocket in there and then i actually have some isolate flares which are great noise isolating um, earbuds just to be able to reduce the decibels when I'm sleeping on flights or anything like that. Then I've got my stylus that slides comfortably like so. So this is for my hard drive. I'm going to thread this across the whole part and this is really just giving you an idea of how you'd want to set up uh, your power packer. Um, this solution tends to work very well for me and I found it to be a really good um, example of how you might carry a lot of tech or if you're a photographer and you carry a lot of 
cables and batteries with you. Um, it doesn't have to always be as cumbersome as it might currently be. And you can see we're nearly done. And again, it's still kept a decent profile. It's obviously added a bit more girth, um, but it's still very compact and we'll see how it measures right at the end. So this is for my hard drive. This was a standard micro USB for some of my tech I still have. And then this is my type C cable. So I'm going to just feed that like so. And I'm happy to just wrap that across the hole. Because my mouse flat packs, then I can actually put my uh, Yi 4K Plus uh, spare batteries in there. And we're done. Let's see how well it closes. And it does it with, it's really easy actually. If you think about everything we've packed in here, it's pretty impressive. This is uh, the end result. So thanks a lot for joining me guys. Um, this was a first look and gear load of the power packer if you have any more questions about it feel free to leave it in the comments down below stay tuned for my written and video review once i've had a good downtime with it so thanks a lot for joining me guys if you enjoyed this video do give it a big thumbs up and like always subscribe to see more awesome videos like this one i'm one tech traveler and i'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.